<laughs> Thanks, Eugene. Okay, everyone. Ah, you know, my mom always said, uh, don't go to clown college and waste eight and a half years of your life. Well, who's laughing now, mom? Hmm. Welcome back to the behind the scenes WWIT W3 News with Taylor Neely and and uh, recent acquirement Eugene Oaks as Weatherman. Uh, we've got an in, uh, incredible show for you today. An incredible guest I didn't know could even speak English. But Eugene, come on on. Hi, man. How are you today? Oh, Eugene, you have a little pool. Yeah, you call me at the pool, man. I'm at the pool today. Is there a lifeguard on duty? I'm the lifeguard. Oh! The fact that you're a lifeguard just speaks volumes to me. How would you feel for today's show? You helped co-anchor. What the hell? Are you being serious? I've been dying to be co-anchor. Well, I say let's do it. Hold on a second. If I'm going to be co-anchor, I'm going to make this I'm make this shit work right. There you go. Okay, this was worth leaving the pool for. Um, I'm going to let you uh, introduce them, um, and then we're going to alternate questions. Yeah, yeah. who's our guest? I don't know who our guest is. Oh, that's right. Um, hold on. Let me uh, write it down for you, and then uh, so we don't spoil it for the audience, okay? Okay. Okay, this way. Okay. You got it? Got it. Got it. Okay, good. I'm excited. I mean, this is my, you know, inaugural uh, debut of... I, I don't know what that word means. It's, uh, I, I don't know. Pamela uh -huh. uses it all. I just figured I'd start using it. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, welcome to WWIT Special Assignment Report with myself and co-anchor Taylor Neely. I have a very special guest that I'd like to bring on today, Kitty Cat. Hello! My name is Meow Sierra. I'm a kitty cat. Meow. All right. It's so nice to uh, to meet you, Meow C. Um, I, I know right off the bat, I have a question because uh, Pamela has a cat. He's an asshole. Oh, yeah. But um, um, Meow C, what is something that you could offer our viewers at home as a remedy for uh, your cat barfing up hairballs? You just need to teach your kitty cat to flatten their tongue and then you'll have less hairballs. Oh, uh, uh, get, get down. Excuse me, miss. Get down. She's not going to listen, is she? No, I, I don't think so, man. I, I I don't allow my cat on the counter. Oh, man, I don't either. I got a cat, and his name is uh, Ronald Reagan. I got these uh, cat toys here for Pamela's cat. Oh! oh, you brought me a toy. Oh. There you go. Come on, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. There you go. See, that's how it works. Whew, oh boy, I'm sweating. Eugene. In doing my research, you know, I smoked some catnip. Um, it didn't have the same effects on me. Could you explain why? The human body metabolizes the catnip quite differently than the cat body. Wow, well, I was kind of disappointed because I was really hoping to get high off that catnip and it just wouldn't happen. Oh, Eugene, you should try nutmeg. I heard that'll get you really high. Oh, okay. I'm going to try that right after we get off. Okay, good. You got to do a lot of it, though, is what I read on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk about the allegations. You come across as like you don't love us as much. That's true. The cat that I have here, I don't know why he does this, but he continually finds like string or ribbon and he eats it. And then a few days later, it's a piece of it sticking out of his butthole. And uh, Pamela gets really mad if I try to pull on it because she says you're not supposed to. And she says I have to keep snipping it with scissors until it's all the way out. You see, you put us inside, you lock us inside, and we don't have access to the proper plants that we need, like the ribbon plant that looks a lot like the ribbons on your floor, and then we eat them. I mean, there's a bowl of food out at all times, so I don't, I don't get why he would do that then, because the food's out. Oh, 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 oh. wow! Jesus. Sometimes humans are so stupid. Uh, I have a friend. Let's call him a friend. His name is Taylor, and uh, he once uh, slurped up a bunch of spaghetti. Supply I went, I went and got it. Cause, you know, I, I'm already getting divorced, and I can't 
piss my <sighs> girlfriend off, so I got to make sure I keep things copacetic. That's another big word, Taylor, that she uses, copacetic. Whoa. I don't even know what it means. Is that like that country in uh, Denmark? A really important question for you. Would you kill one of us? Yes. Yes. Oh. How would you do it? Well, I would start at your toes, and I would make it very slow. I would nibble them off one by one, and then I'd work my way up. Goodness gracious, that's gruesome. Would you bury the remains? What would you do with them? I would hang them in my living room. Wow. Well, Eugene, I think we got what we need. All right, the jig is up, Meowsy. Special Agent Taylor Neely, you're going to jail for a long, long time. And I'm now Sub Agent Oaks, and we got you. Agent Oaks, read her her rights. You have the right to meow silence. You have the right not to sniff your own butthole. You have the right not to put your claws on anybody. And you have the right to not meow no more. Feels good to do this work, Eugene, doesn't it? It does. I really appreciate Chad uh, giving us the tip off. Um, he was really upset about that that kitty poop next to the litter box. And uh, if it hadn't been for that, you might have gotten away with it. I'm sorry, Mr. Chad. A little too late. A little too late. A little too late. All right, folks. Well, it's good to know that the streets are a little safer thanks to uh, Taylor and Eugene Oaks. Uh, the streets are safe and we're safe too. Yeah.